Welcome to AyurvedicScience.com. This is Dr. Virinder Sodi. Today we are going to talk about middle ear infection in kids. Middle ear infection in kids is the most common disease. There are 7 million visits every year to the clinics with the middle ear infection. And we spent $3.5 billion on middle ear infections alone. And the most common treatment given for middle ear infection is antibiotics. But antibiotics usually does not cure the disease and it becomes very chronic. It's not uncommon for me to see parents bringing their kids who have been given antibiotics year after year, year after year. And also they've been asked to put the ear tubes and have been given steroids, antihistamine, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. All carry major side effects. There was a very interesting article published in British Medical Journal issue 339 2009 where the author concluded the kids who were on antibiotics were getting more frequent and recurrent uh, ear, middle ear infections than the placebo group. Interestingly, the kids who were given amoxicillin, they had 63% reoccurrence as compared to placebo group where they had only 43% reoccurrence rate. So you can see the antibiotics usually will not cure the problem. So what is the cause of the middle ear infection? Uh, in my clinical experience, I think it's the major cause is food allergies. And there is a lot of interesting studies published in medical journals, uh, but which still not looked at very properly. And I see a very, very clear link. And the major culprits are milk, soya product, nightshade family, citrus family, peanuts, wheat. So these are, has shown to be made and the, of course the environmental allergies too. And what is, why kids get middle ear infections more as compared to the, the adult population? The problem is the anatomy of the middle ear. The eustachian tube which is opening in the mouth is not at a proper angle in the kids and they, they are narrow. They are not able to clean or uh, drain them properly and what happens the fluid collects in the back of the middle ear which cannot properly drain into the mouth and uh, thereby attracts infection and cause the problem so what you can do to help the middle ear infection uh, there are wonderful ayurvedic and naturopathic remedies uh, which is also of course nutrition is the first part of it but uh, uh, there are herbs uh, uh, which are very phenomenally been researched uh, like Google, uh, we have a preparation flucomune which has been used very successfully uh, based in Tinosporia cardis uh, spora and uh, uh, holy basil uh, and long pepper so which has shown really interesting uh, results in middle ear infection. Also uh, you need to do uh, the breathing exercises especially kids are very hard to you know, teach breathing exercise but what, what I encourage them to have some balloons and ask them to blow the balloons and balloons are a, another way of doing exercise in the kids and parents can also do the lymphatic drainage and I'm going to show you how to do the lymphatic drainage what you do you take some olive oil on your fingertips and you massage on the side of the jaw just drain it properly like this the way I'm doing it and and down the neck so what this does this actually opens up and drain the eustachian tube. If you do it on a daily basis, you will see remarkable results with otitis media. And uh, uh, so if you want to take care of the otitis media, you have to look at the nutrition, what food you're giving, uh, not give them the garbage food, exercises and Ayurvedic herbs, and maybe deficiency of vitamin D, which also needs to be looked at, which is very prevalent in kids these days. Thanks. This is Dr. Vrinda Sode.